Hey everyone, welcome back to SFDC Ninja and today I am here with third video of LWC scenario series. In previous scenario, we have implemented server side sorting in Lightning data table and in today's scenario, we are going to implement such facility. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Basically in today's scenario, we will first create a Lightning data table in which we will show account records. After that, we will provide an input box about the Lightning data table which allows user to search any account by its name. So guys, let's start with our first task, which is creating a lightning data table. Let's create a component. Let's name it search CMP. Let's create a lightning card. Lightning card. Let's provide a title. Search functionality in lightning data table now let's create a lightning data table here we are going to use three attributes first is key field basically it is used to uniquely identify each row of data it acts like an id card for each row so we will provide id in this attribute like this now what we'll do we will create a structure for our lightning data table like which column should be present in it so for that we will use columns attribute like this and for this attribute we will first create an array of objects in which we will provide information for each column like this columns first is label let's say name this is for heading of column second is field name This is to specify that which field data will be displayed in this particular column. And at last, we need to specify the type. So, type will be text. So, this is our first column. Similarly, we will create another column like this. Label will be ID. Field name. And at last, type. Let's create another variable here. And put this array of objects here. Save it. And finally, let's pass it here. Save this HTML code also and deploy it to org. So it is successfully deployed. Now to see the output, let's go to our developer console. Here we have created this lighting application. Let's embed our component here. Search CMP. Save it and let's preview it. So as you can see that our structure of data table is ready. Now in next step, we will show data in it. So let's go to VS code again. And here let's use data attribute. Basically, this attribute is used to hold the information you want to display in a table. And for this attribute, we will create a variable like this. And we will pass it here. And in this variable, we will store records written from Apex. So now let's create our Apex controller. Let's name it search controller. Let's create our method public static. Basically from this apex controller, we are going to return list of accounts. So return type will be list of account. Let's name it fetch data and let's pass a variable in this method. Let's say search key. And in this parameter, we will pass value of the input from user. Basically that input will be the keyword searched by the user. So now for that input, we will create an input box by which user can search for account records. Let's go to our HTML code again. And here we will create our input box. Lightning input. Let's give label. Search. Let's give placeholder also. Type here to search accounts. Let's give value. Basically, this attribute specifies the value of an input element. So we will create a variable in our JS code, search key, 
we will keep its initial value null and of its name pass it here basically this value is the current value of this lightning input and search key variable is used to set and store this value now see we need to store the current value of this input box or whatever the user is typing or searching we need to store that value so to capture the change of this lightning input what we will do we will use on change event like this and we will create a function let's say handle search like this which will be called whenever user types or search anything and in this function we will store the value typed or searched by the user using event or target value like this this dot search key event dot target dot value guys whenever user starts typing in this lightning input this function will be triggered to grab the value so now we have the value searched by the user which will be passed in parameter of our apex method and here in this method we will return the list of records based on value of this parameter i mean based on the value searched by the user so for that what we will do we will use socal wildcards to match a text pattern let's create a variable string search star copy this parameter name paste it here so this variable will be used to store the text pattern here we have used this percent symbol at the beginning and also at the end basically percent sign at the beginning means anything can come before this search key and percent sign at the end means anything can come after this search key now we have a text pattern stored in this variable which we will use in our query to find records like this return select id name from account where name like copy this variable and paste it here so using this socal query we are returning account records where the name contains this search term anywhere within it here it searches the list of names and picks out the ones whose name matches this variable so we have our class ready now let's make it available for components using at the rate or enabled annotation like this or enabled cacheable equal to true save it and deploy it to work okay it is successfully deployed now let's call this method in our component so let's import it first import fetch data from salesforce apex copy our controller name paste it here dot copy our method name paste it here and we are going to use wire decorator to call this method so let's import that also and here we will call our apex method like this enter it wire fetch data and in this parameter we will pass this variable wire data if data then returning records will be stored in this variable else if error this one dot string file error or we can also create another variable to store this error message like this and simply store it in this variable guys i have explained about this wired function in previous two videos you can check them out i will provide link in description let's save it save our html code also and deploy it to work so we have our component ready it's time to see it in action let's go to this page again 
and let's refresh it. Here we are getting old account records because initially we are passing null from our JS code in parameter of our Apex method. That's why it is returning old records. Now let's try to search something. Let's say United. So guys, as you can see that our search functionality is working correctly. Let's search for another account also. Yeah, it is working correctly. We can also add few more things in our code. Like we can show a message. Let's say no records found. So for that, what we'll do? We will use LWCF like this. Template LWCF. No records found. Or no account records found. Here we will pass a boolean variable to control the visibility of this message. So let's create a boolean variable. Let's say no records. Bool. Initially its value will be false. Copy this variable name and paste it here. So guys this message will be visible only when the value of this variable gets true. Now the question is when will this boolean variable gets true? So this variable will get true if there are no records present in data variable. So for that we need to do something like this. This dot no records pool if data dot length is zero. Save it and deploy it to work. Okay, it is successfully deployed. Let's go to that page again. Let's refresh it and let's type anything. So as you can see that this message will be displayed if there is no account record found. Let's remove this keyword and we have the list again. So that's it for today guys and I'll be back with more interesting LWC scenarios. Thank you and keep watching.